Greetings to all Southern Cameroonians on Ground Zero and across the entire world. This is King H. I want to take a time and dissect a statement that was made by Dr. Samuel Ekom Sako. He said, Ambazonians are God ordained people. Anyone who wage war against us is simply waging war against Almighty God. And such wars are bound to fail. Dr. Sama Ikam Sakom. Dr. Sama Sakom, I want to say this. Africans in general are God ordained people. But year in and year out, they're being killed because of wars being fought inside Africa. They're God ordained people. Jewish people are God ordained people, and they were killed in the Holocaust by Germans. Arabs are God ordained people. There are many wars fought in many Afri Arab nations. And they're dying. Europe, well, they don't have as much war in Europe as compared to the rest of the world. But people are still dying across the world, regardless of them being God ordained. So, this shallow statement that you have made to, 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 to distract us from the real issue, which is the money that you stole. Money that was, money that should have been used for the soldiers who are sacrificing themselves day in and day out. The people of Southern Cameroon who are sacrificing themselves day in, day out. Innocent lives being cut by Southern Cameroonians and by the government, by Southern Cameroon military and by the government of La Republic's military. Innocent lives. Like the lady that was chopped up. Like the like the pastor that was shot and died in the process. Many innocent lives because of your inability to act, because of your incompetence as a so-called president of Southern Cameroon Amazonia, your inability to act, and the fact that you are a thief, you've stolen the freedom of your own people through the hard end dedication that they they, they did when they contributed my, to my trip to Boya. Your greediness, your gluttonness is destroying so many lives. And you claim to be the president of the interim government of Southern Cameroon. But you are nothing but a mere thief. Stealing from your own people who have been killed, who have been under oppression for over 50 years by La Republic du Cameroon and by France. Over 50 years, we've had the courage to take a stand, a bold stand, to fight for the liberation of our country, of our people in Southern Cameroon. And your greediness, your selfishness, is actually causing more life. And now you're using this code, this quotation, to defend your sea free. That any person fighting against God ordained people would not win. Many people, many people in the world are so claim to be God ordained people. But they fight for what they believe and fight for what they want till they get it or they don't. And you have just taken this liberation this revolution to steal from the people who are suffering, who you claim to be a leader to. So Southern Cameroons are suffering, dying, perishing because of your inability to act. And not only that, because so-called Ambazonian leaders cannot keep their egos aside and come together and work as Southern Cameroonians for the betterment of all Southern Cameroonians. 
they only want to project themselves as the savior, as the one that is going to free Sarun Kamun. Meanwhile, the people are perishing. The ADF claims to be the strongest force on ground zero. Yet, you have somebody like Pascal Kiki, who is speaking vehemently to and encouraging the soldiers of Saron Cameroon to take out people they call black legs. Yes, in wars, they are spies, they are black legs that helped destroy the war on both sides. But when you're fighting for liberation, for a, a revolution that is going to secure your independence, your sovereignty as a nation, you look at the entire, big, entire picture. You look at the big picture. The, who is the main enemy holding Southern Cameroon independence? It's not the Black Lakes. It is like public, the government of life public, and the military of life public that is holding the freedom of southern Cameroon. And because life public military and government would not let go of southern Cameroon, they would do anything possible to destroy the military of southern Cameroon using black legs. Some black legs are doing it willingly. Some are not doing it willingly because they are caught in between two forces. Caught in between La Republique, the Cameroon military and Ambazonian military. But La Republique, the Cameroon military is stronger with better weapons than the military of Ambazonia. So it makes it more easier for so-called black legs to give in and do the beatings of Lipoplik's military. So they are caught in between two caught in between wars of Ambazonia and Lipoplik and they have no other choice. Yet we have people who at push encourage the military of Southern Cameroon to fight and kill the black legs brutally. That is sin against humanity. And it's only destroying the image of a so called ordained, so called God ordained revolution. The leadership from the interim government, the leadership from AGOFC, the leadership of Southern Cameroon has not helped this revolution but has put it in a situation where you can come out of it you must fight by any means necessary yes many of our soldiers don't have better weapons to fight like public but when you fight in a gorilla war you use all the strategy and all the means possible to destroy the bigger enemy. So we must focus on the Republic of Cameroon. I hear there's a fight serious. In, there's, a, there's an intense fight going on in Bamenda, which is good. We must stay focused and defeat the Republic of Cameroon. And we the Southern Cameroons in the diaspora must do ev everything possible to support our military financially so that they could fight this war. We cannot retreat. There's no going back. In our hiding, the hiding spot of Ambazonian military forces in Southern Cameroon are getting licked out. The time is coming when we will not be able to hide in the forest anymore because like Republic Cameroon will come out the entire, for, the entire forest to find out where Ambazonian military are hiding.
So which means what? We are caught in between a rock and a strong force. The only thing is to come out swinging, strategizing, and taking the fight to the Republic in their own campus, in their own area. And we cannot rely on many of our leaders because they are proven to us to be useless. Like this Dr. Sako who says, Amazonians are God-ordained people. Every human being in the earth are God-ordained people. God, Allah, Obasi gave them life, so they are God-ordained people. And every human being came out with two legs, potentially, and two, two feet, and a brain to think and act. So using God, when you know it's time to act, is useless. Because everybody is, a God, is God ordained. Well, it was created by God. But how you fight to survive? Because life is war. How you, so, how you fight will determine how you survive. Many of our people are dying because our soldiers on Ground Zero are not united. From the ADF to the interim government, so uh, military wing to all the other groups they are not united let me say something america was a country that was born from gangs so in order to survive you must be part of a gang you must be part of a group you must be part of something and they fight it out till they cannot fight no more so to, f to fight this war, Sauron Cameroon must have a united military. United in the sense that they must work together, not necessarily mean under one military wing fighting. No, but it means that they must work together with all the military forces that have been created inside Southern Cameroon to eliminate the Republic of Cameroon. That's what we must do now this thing where it says ADF or this or that they're only going to keep killing Saru Cameroons and the black legs are also going to get killed if not by La Republic by Saru Cameroons themselves so the black legs when you're used by La Republic those they'll take you out because they don't need you your purpose it's over. But Ambazonia must win this revolution by any means necessary. We must have the strategy to fight like public. They are coming the forest looking for our soldiers. And they will not stop. So we cannot stop. We must find a way to work with each other and defeat like popular de Cameroon. Or else we'll perish. It's as simple as that. Fight or die. We got no choice. Fight or die. It's as simple as that. Take the fight to life public. Take it to their camps that they have inside Southern Cameroon. Look for the weakest link. And smash. Unitedly. You do that. All over the counties. Inside Southern Cameroon. You will have a chance. To win this revolution. But if you choose to focus on fighting black legs. It will lead, it probably lead to the demise of Southern Cameroon. 
it will probably lead to the demise because the more the more time we spend fighting black legs the less time we have fighting the main enemy we must fight intelligently we must take precaution yes every human being is afraid every human being is afraid but we cannot let fear control us to do what we must do to survive the Republic the Cameroon will not stop until they wipe us out from the planet of earth and we should not stop until we approve them in our county in our country known as Ambazonia but our leaders are failures our leaders have failed us all from the ADF AGOC leadership to the interim government leadership they have failed us woefully especially this three she called Dr. Samuel Ikom Sako this is King Hitchu I'm out